Well, how do the chums to say, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the view of us, it's going to be a cup of tea episode with Captain of the Steves, I guess. You see, I haven't even brushed my freaking hair this morning, that dude. I guess, that looks pretty darn freaking snazzy. Right, let's have a little swig of the tea. Right, so today, chums, I've got a little bit of a... Confession to make. Um, now, I was saying that I was going to move to play in modded No Man's Sky on a Monday Eve based off of the um, poll that I did. Let me show you the poll I did. Let's uh, jump on over into the Tinterweb. Boom! I'm onto the Tinterwebs over here. Heck yes. And I'm on my community tab of my YouTube channel page. Right, so let's scroll on down. You can see there, members only access, members only access. Yeah, I haven't put that one live yet. All that one. That is, that's now live. Okay, cool. So there's one of my modded play videos, but this one up here is a modded play video too that I did the other day. Now, while I was doing this modded play video, it pushed my PC to the highest ends of what my PC can achieve, and I was losing frames, and occasionally it sort of hung. And I had a few crashes as well while trying to do the modded play. I don't think modded play is the best for live streaming because of that it's not stable enough so although that i've done this actual poll and i was planning to actually move you know towards no man's sky on a monday because look it won it won 50 percent of the vote 51 percent of the vote yes more no man's sky the better whereas no keep monster hunter rise 23 percent now, I can add that 23% to that 11% there, which brings it up to about, what, 34%. But then if I added the 51 and the 7 together, that's 58%. So, people wanted No Man's Sky. That's what I'm going for on this, people. The only thing is, is like I say, trying to deliver No Man's Sky in a live stream through Streamlabs and pushing the PC's GPU to the freaking nines I just don't think it's going to work in a format where it's going to be stable enough for me to be confident that the stream is going to go from end to end. Also, my PC gets extremely hot. As we move into slightly warmer months, that's probably not the best idea. So, because of limitations of my PC, I guess, and also the weather and climate, <laughs> I'm going to be keeping with Monster Hunter Rise on a Monday, but it's... I really do enjoy Monster Hunter Rise, so I didn't really mind which way this actual vote went. It's just that the Monster Hunter Rise videos just haven't really been getting too many views. I um, pop on over to my channel dashboard in a moment, people. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so anyway, thank you very much for taking part in the poll. What I would say is a lot of the other comments, the 9% the here, a few were saying, why not try another game like, you know, and the Hogwarts Legacy and stuff. I've got a video on Hogwarts Legacy that I need to put live. I don't think I've put it live for the members yet either. I need to do that. Yeah, it's um, it's all good. A lot of people say, just do what you wish to do. And uh, yeah, keep doing what you do because I like watching what you do, whatever you do, which is lovely. So thank you very much for your support. And thank you very much for your comments. And thank you very much for your votes. Thank you, people in the view of us. OK, right back to me for a second. So, yeah. The Monster Hunter Rise videos, as much as I like doing them, they're just not really pulling in any sort of traffic for my channel or probably doing my channel any favours. And you know, if you're not pleasing the algorithm with pretty much every video that goes out there, then YouTube stops recommending your videos or pushing your videos in a roundabout way. So yeah, let's um let me just show you my YouTube channel. So this is like a back-end view of my channel, really. Let's uh, jump on back over to um the tinter web shall we here we go boom i'm back over on the old tinter webs over here people so also these death in the water videos are going to be the death of my freaking channel at this rate i mean look at that 65 views um which is it, it pales in comparison to my no man's sky stuff i know why people come to my channel it's for my no man's sky content it is i mean that's that's pretty much how i built my channel now i am trying to spread my wings a little trying to bring in different sort of aspects i mean i do love open worldy type games i do like games where you're going up against giant monsters and things and that's kind of why i thought you know monster hunter rise could be good for my channel and also the um death in the water too because there are giant mythological creatures i haven't got to them yet yeah so there's a giant kraken in there which you may have seen in a couple of the videos 
But there's there's more than that. There's like a giant, like multi-headed hydra and some mermen that I've got to come across yet in Death in the Water too. So if you haven't watched my Death in the Water videos, they should start getting good at some point. <laughs> when it comes to mythological beasts, I'd like to say they're all good, but you know, I'm slightly biased. It's me. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, scrolling down, I'll show you what I mean with the old uh, monster hunter. I mean, I've been doing them live, haven't I? So I need to click my live tab. So if I look at the monster hunt, there you go, story, 160 views. I suppose that's not too bad when you look at, you know, the 300 odd views for my No Man's Sky stuff, because even that's starting to take a bit of a dip now, people. So yeah, even the No Man's Sky content, when I go live, it, it's just not, it, it, it pulls in views while I'm live, but then after I've gone live, you know, it just sort of peters off, which you kind of expect with live videos. The point of being live is you've got an audience there watching, haven't you? So it's, it's kind of kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, but I, I really am enjoying doing the, the actual Monster Hunter Rise, and I'm really enjoying doing the Death in the Water too. And I think that's all that matters, really, isn't it? If I'm enjoying something and enjoying doing something, then carry on doing it. And I am still enjoying doing No Man's Sky content, but we need content in No Man's Sky for me to actually cover. Hence why I've started doing a little bit of modded gameplay inside of No Man's Sky. And I must say, modded gameplay for No Man's Sky is pretty darn freaking immense. What I've actually seen so far, I mean, what I've seen so far, you've seen so far, because I haven't really moved it forwards. But I'm thinking maybe with the, the actual, you know, the edited content, I'll give you a sneak peek of this one, shall I, people, since you're here watching this. And I, I'm probably going to be putting this live maybe tomorrow eve, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just hit this up and uh, I'll show you a little snippet from this video. There we go. Let's just mute that for a second. Make it nice and big on the screen. Make sure that I've got it on the top settings. Chicka boom. And I will show you that the um this is actually a frost biome that I land on over here, people. So yeah, when you do see this go live, you'll be able to hear it with all of my commentary and stuff like that. But look at this for modded gameplay. How freaking immense is that? That's a frost world. It's got cactuses on a bloody frost world. <laughs> It's mental, isn't it? Really is pretty darn cool. But yeah, there we are. <laughs> it is it is crazy stuff. Um I'm 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 liking doing the modded gameplay. The only thing that I would say is what I'm doing is I've got a folder on my PC. Let me um go into my yeah. video. And I'm gonna be saving all my modded clips inside of this folder. And what I'm hoping to do then is use these sort of for speculation videos, idea videos, what Hello Games' is new sort of game might be sort of videos, all that sort of shenanigans. So there is an ulterior motive to covering No Man's Sky modded. It's not just to show what the engine does, but that is part of it. Because you know, Hello Games' is engine is behind these mods. Although the community have made the mods, Hello Games' is engine is powering those mods. And it's to see what Hello Games' engine is capable of. I mean, look at that. How amazing is that? And some of these mods, again, it is bringing a bit of um, yeah, a bit of a spotlight to mods and also the people that make the mods because they've done some sterling freaking work. They really have people in the viewerverse. I mean, that is freaking immense, isn't it? But anyway, I don't want to show you too much because, uh, yeah, that's all sort of, you know, to come anyway, people. But, uh, yeah, let's just jump on over back into uh, me, oh, me. Chicka boom Chicka pow And I'm back on screen there, uh, peeps. So yeah, hopefully, so basically what this video is about is what's happening on Monday evenings. Monday evenings, Monday evenings live at 6pm, I'm going to be doing a Monster Hunter Rise live, people. Yeah, I'm not going to be moving to a modded PC play live because of, you know, the, the settings that I have to set and stuff like that. It's just easier for me to do recorded episodes because if things go wrong, I can cut those bits out. I can splice it. I can knit it back together again and hopefully deliver you something that's slightly more interesting in that format. OK, so there we go, people. That's everything that I've got for you today. It was just a just a very quick cup of tea with Captain Steve. And then it's still warm. And yeah, still lovely. Let's have a little sip of this sip. Lovely job. And it was also to let you know that I'm still pressing on with Death in the Water 2 as a playthrough. I'm on dive 9. I believe there is 15 dives in total. So there's not much more to do. And then I'm thinking maybe of doing a whole playthrough of um, Death in the Water 2 
from start to finish. I think I can actually do the game, the whole thing, maybe, within like about two to three hours. And I might deliver that when I hit the 30,000 subs mark or something as just like a, a long live stream. So it's not going to be in the immediate future, unless you guys are pretty good at getting my channel out there and sharing it like freaking hotcakes. And uh, yeah, pushing it up to that sort of level, that'd be freaking excellent. <laughs> It'd be nice to hit the 30k, I guess. But until then, people, you know, that's that's kind of what's going on with my channel. So it's more of a channel news video, this cup, cup of tea with Captain Steve. So what's happening on a Monday? Yeah, but there we go. That's pretty much it. But I just wanted to also say a massive great big thank you to everybody that's tuning in to these cup of teas with Captain Steve videos, because they are pulling views, which is lovely. And I kind of like doing this format. It's quite chilled. It's quite relaxed. And it's a nice way of engaging with not only you guys, but also a wider community. Because I'm trying to draw attention to other things that I'm seeing in the peripheral. There's quite a few other games that I've got my eye on, like Blue Protocol. Can't wait for more information on that. Um, there's that other game, Under a Rock, which is a procedurally generated sort of game like Journey to the Center of the Earth, Jules Verne type inspiration type game, which looks awesome. There's Nightingale, which it has a steampunk type vibe, and you know how much I like steampunk. I've got a steampunk hat here, people. Boom! Ha 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 ha! Isn't it snazzy? Isn't it wonderful? Heck yes it is. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm hoping to do steampunk. I may even wear that. Well, a Nightingale. I may even wear this during the stream. Yes, I know. It's a treat for the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. So there's that, uh, and if you haven't checked out Nightingale, I've got a few videos on Nightingale. But yeah, very interested for that one. And uh, what else is there that I've got my beady little eye peepers on? There's a couple of others, like Starfield. I mean, that one's freaking obvious. I think everybody that likes No Man's Sky or Space games is going to be all over Starfield when that drops. So yeah, got a lot to look forward to on this channel, people. Also, I think I've changed my mind on Hogwarts. Seeing the recent gameplay, especially Craze Gaming's video that he did, which was freaking epic. I have got a cup of tea with Captain Steve video on Hogwarts that I haven't put live yet. You may have already seen it. It might be live now by the time you've seen this one, because I don't know when I'm putting this one live. I'll probably put this one live on Sunday. So you probably would have seen the Hogwarts one. So you know what? I can put a video up in the top right corner up here, people, up there. Link to Hogwarts if you missed it, just in case, because I did do a rant video on Hogwarts saying why I'm not going to get it. But after seeing gameplay and actually seeing some of the actual tactics you have to use in combat and things like that, it does feel like it's got more depth than what I thought originally, people. So I'm going to be backstepping slightly. I also like the animations of the dragons. There was a lot of redeeming things that I saw inside of that gameplay that's made me think, actually, no, this could be worth taking a bigger look. Which, so I'm back on the fence. You know, it, it's going to be quite an expensive title. I've got an expensive trip planned to the Philippines. So I, I don't know whether I can afford to purchase the catered and bring it to my channel. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it is my birthday in February. So fingers crossed, you know, I might get given a little bit of moolah from the old families. And um, yeah, rather than spend it over in um, foreign world, I might uh, treat myself to a game. And it could be, could be awkward. <laughs> but there we go, people in the viewer verse. Enough said. I don't want to promise something I can't deliver on, and I haven't. You know, I'm I'm, I'm still on the fence with Hogwarts. But until next time, people, you guys have been freaking awesome. Heck yes, you have. Salute to Mondo, and again, thank you for tuning in to these cup of teas with Captain Steve. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.